Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2014 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Stephen Terrapelli. His presenters are once again his sons, Mr. Alex Terrapelli and Mr. Troy Terrapelli. Stephen Terrapelli coached at Hiram Johnson High School in Sacramento from 1983 to 1995 before accepting an assistant coaching job at Buchanan High School in Altasir Intermediate. While at Buchanan and Altasir, he assisted Chris Hansen to Buchanan's first Central Section Valley Championship and a fifth place finish at the state. He also coached many future Buchanan California State qualifiers and medalists while at Altasir Intermediate and Buchanan from 1995 to 1997. In the spring of 1997, he was offered the head wrestling job at Clovis High School. He took over a program that did not produce a state qualifier or earn a point at the Central Section Valley Championships in 1997. During his coaching career, he coached many individuals and teams to league, conference, section, state, and national recognition. Here are his achievements during his coaching tenure. Amateur Wrestling News awarded the Clovis High School Wrestling Program the past two years public high school national championships for 2013 and 2014. Six CIF California State Wrestling Team Championships. Only the fourth coach to win three straight California CIF State Team Championships and the first to fourth straight California State Championship in the 42-year year, correction, 42-year history of the California State Wrestling Championships. Eleven CIF Central Section Masters Team Championships. Ten CIF Central Section Valley Team Championships. Twenty-four League Championships. Fourteen top five California State Wrestling teams with only Poway has more of 23. Twenty-one California CIF State Individual Champions more than any other team in California history. 35 California CIF State Individual Finals, 31 at Clovis High School, 49 Valley or Masters Champions, 90 plus California State Medalists, 84 at Clovis High School, most California State Medals record, 9 in 2011 and 10 in 2012, California State record for the team scoring of 256 and a half points. He coached four of the top five teams in California history. He coached three, which was Daniel Gatton. Zach and Nick Nevels, individuals that are four-time CIF California State medalists. He coached his three boys, Adam, Alex, and Choi, to nine CIF California State Wrestling Championships finals and won individual titles eight times. He coached 84 Clovis wrestlers, 63% of the team, state team record of 136 CIF California State Championship medalists throughout the 42-year history. And finally, he was awarded the National Coaching Award two consecutive years for this year's team's accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2014 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Stephen Terrapelli. Thank you very, thank you very much. I appreciate the honor of being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here amongst all these people that have a passion for the sport that really gave me an opportunity to get into education. Uh, I'd really like to thank my, my uh, college coach that showed up here today. Uh, it was a surprise to me, Frank Cheek. Uh, he put up with a lot when I was up there, and, and he got me through school. Uh, I guarantee it wouldn't have happened without his assistance. Uh, as most of us, there's a lot of people in wrestling that are, kind of have ADHD and are, move around a lot and have a hard time with focus. I am, I am probably the captain of that ship. Uh, I remember sitting on the bed in uh, our room, the third quarter of my year at Humboldt with my roommate, and we were looking at our grades, and, and I looked over at my buddy, Pat Collip, who was on the team, and said, we're pretty close. Maybe we should try to graduate. <laughs> so it kind of gave me an idea that uh, we were there for the, the fun ride, the, the, the wrestling experience, the travel, the camaraderie, and all the things involved. But it gave me an opportunity to get in this great sport. And uh, I got into it late. I was an ag teacher. I went to Fresno State, uh, ended up at Hiram Johnson, and, and the principal there saw I wrestled in the college and asked that I would be the coach. I reluctantly uh, uh, accepted the position after trying to get out of it two or three times, and I've been in it ever since. Uh, it was a great experience. I was in inner city school with disadvantaged kids. I had a wonderful experience. Uh, I Hopefully, I, I touched a lot of them. I still have contact with a lot of them that said that the things that we learn in wrestling, and, and I'm sure every coach in here has, can verify this and has spoken to this fact, you teach life skills. Wrestling is life skills. It's learning to overcome adversity. 
it's learning to get knocked down and get back up. And uh, I, I think this sport teaches that more than any other sport in the, in the state uh, or, or in athletics. The, the great p part about wrestling is that you touch people's lives and, and they go on and become good people. They become contributors in society. I was also fortunate enough to coach my sons. I know uh, uh, in some circumstances that's not a good situation. Uh, I, I think it worked out well for us. Uh, we had our times. I think everybody has their times. But I think overall it was a, it was a tremendous experience, and it was a great experience for me. Uh, as you saw the three boys that came up, uh, they all look a little different. So it, it was a task to try to to teach techniques and so forth to the three different body types, and, and, and it worked out pretty well for him. Uh, and he's right, I, I do think the other kids look older than Adam. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right, I, I still love those guys. Anyway, uh, we, we have an opportunity to touch a lot of lives, and we have touched a lot of lives, and, and, and I hope uh, all of us have touched kids in a positive way. Uh, I think we have. I think we've we've encouraged kids to to become good citizens and do the right thing. Again, uh, as mentioned before, and you can't go without saying this, it's the other people that aren't in the trenches that really put up with it all. I'd like to thank my wife. I'd like to thank all the people that volunteer in our program, and we have a lot of volunteers, and we have people that are that are there every time, every day, every minute. Uh, all those people are contributors, and when you're contributing to a kid's life, you're contributing to a positive thing. But my wife has been a very positive force in our family. I'd like to thank my daughter also, Brooke, for putting up with all the crap and, uh, <laughs> and the stuff that goes along with this sport. She had her own, her own uh, sports that we tried to, uh, as much as possible, be at. But if you've been in this sport, you know it's very time consuming. All right. So all you guys that, that uh, uh, have given to kids in a positive way, congrats. Keep giving. Try to make our sport better. Try to improve what we have, market it, do good things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, Mr. Stephen Terrapelli.